So guys, KSI was once called out by Tommy Fury and got a lot of backlash for it. We're going to get into that throwback story today. Tommy Fury done a bunch of interviews where he was talking about fighting KSI randomly on all these different boxing channels. Want to keep fighting? You know, I'm a fighting man. I'm no amateur star, whatever like that. We're both from, you know, the influencing backgrounds. He's from the YouTube inside. I'm from the Love Island reality TV side. Let's get it on. You know, if he wants a real fight, he knows where I am. Wouldn't you just absolutely destroy him, though? No disrespect to KSI, but with your experience being in the game for as long as you have. Do you know what it is, right? Um, I'm sure a lot of people will jump on this, you know, saying, oh, Tommy will do this, Tommy will do that. Obviously, I back myself 100%, you know, in any fight that I go into. But if you actually look at the statistics, what is it? You know, I've had, I've had 12 amateur fights when I was 15 year old. I've had three pro fights. You know, there's, there's not a lot in it. Yeah, I've been in the gym sparring around, but actually fighting wise, I've not had a lot of experience fighting. And it's safe to say that KSI was not one bit interested in fighting Tommy Fury, probably because he's got a way bigger brand than him. Tommy said that they're both influencers from different backgrounds, but KSI has got at least five times, if not ten times, the following Tommy Fury has and brings way more to the table than him. Yeah. Was it Tommy from Love Island? Yeah, Tommy Fury what, wants what, to fight. What are we saying about that then? I just think that's so dumb. He needs to fight way more than <laughs> I need to fight with him. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't get anything from him. Okay. It's literally like me boosting his career and making him worldwide. Yeah. No one knows him outside of the UK. Okay. So, like, it's just, no. He can fight Vidal Riley, my trainer. Okay. I'm, yeah. Oh, okay. I bet you won't. Do you speak Welsh as well? You... Hear me out, Tommy Fury versus KSI, who would win? Uh, oh man, uh, I think I'm just in a different uh, league. A different, yeah, different league, <laughs> different level to Tommy, man. Like, no, nah, no, nah, but on the real, um, no, nah, it just wouldn't make sense. Like, it would actually be a downgrade for me to fight him. <laughs> no, 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 as in, like, no, nah, no, nah, as in, not boxing ability wise, but like, I guess, popularity wise, etc. <laughs> You're just uh, like, what have you done? <laughs> oh, bro, brilliant. I don't know what I've created here. Anyway, moving on. After Tommy Fury started getting a bit of backlash on his Instagram from all the KSI fans. Someone said KSI owned you and he said he needs to get a life. I was only offering for a friendly match. Get over yourself, mate. Molly May had put in the comments, leave him alone with loads of emojis. Tyson Fury put up a story saying idiots will be idiots, ignore them, Tommy Fury. And someone commented on KSI's page saying, did you see that Tyson Fury called you an idiot? KSI said again with what I said about using me for publicity. Then KSI commented on a Fury post saying, stop using me for publicity, fam. A lot of people would say that Tommy Fury calling out big names paid off because Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury was a matchup that was confirmed that he had pulled out of at a later date from an injury. But KSI's prediction for that fight was funny. A boxing promoter had told Tommy Fury to his face what KSI had said about the fight. I definitely see, My yeah. heart is telling me that Jake wins. Yeah, I see Tommy losing. You know why? I see him shitting himself on the yeah. big stage. Do, do you see John Fru yeah. did an interview right the other day? Like yeah. bef before the fight was announced, he's saying like everything. Oh yeah, he'll smash him. Like if he doesn't disown him. As soon as he got announced, he started saying like he'll win if the pressure doesn't get to him. It's in America. Oh, like he, he did no. like a, yeah. So like. KSI has said a similar thing. He said that you are gonna. Uh, I'm dampening it down. He says you're gonna poo yourself in there. Yeah. People are saying this. Why is there this impression that under those lights you're going <coughs> to wilt? Well, we'll see. Because I'll tell you one thing. If that's the only thing they're banking on for me to lose this fight, my God, I'm a lucky man. Because why am I going to crumble under the, underneath the pressure of a YouTuber? If I was fighting a world champion undefeated for 10 years, there'd be a bit of pressure. Here is nothing. So guys, obviously Tommy Fury pulled out of the Jake Paul fight, so that didn't go ahead. And now Jake Paul has no future plans to fight Tommy Fury. He missed out on a big bag and a big opportunity to get future names like KSI. If he would have beat Jake Paul, it would have put him in a lot better position. So guys, I'm sure you've all seen and heard the news as to why I'm not fighting on December the 18th now. Just thought I'd come in here and tell you myself. Um, training camp couldn't have gone any better for me for the first week, two weeks. But then I contracted a bacterial chest infection, which led me go to the gym and just not being able to breathe. You know, I was in my sparring sessions, pad work sessions, whatever it may be, just not being able to breathe and coughing up huge amounts of phlegm all the time. It led me to sleepless nights. And that went on for about four weeks because I had the mindset of I'm going to keep training. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to have the fight. If that fight did go ahead, who do you think would win out of KSI and Tommy Fury? Comment below. 
Make sure you guys drop a like below and subscribe with the notification bell if you're new. I've got a follow-up story coming real soon, so stay tuned to the channel. I'll see you on my next one. Peace out.